Welcome back to another video, you guys. Now, as I promised you guys at one point, I would have finally started another franchise for you guys, and this one is going to be with the Indianapolis Colts. Now, of course, I want to make a quick change. I want to go ahead and create a coach, so I'm going to do that, and I'm leaning towards making a motivator. The reason why is because that's probably what I'd be if I was a coach in real life. I don't like all these other ones. Motivator seems more like a player's type of a coach, and that's what I feel like I would be. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so that means that Chuck Pagano, of course, is going to be fired. Um, sorry for him. He was a good coach, but, you know, David Arrington should be a better coach. That's going to be his name. That's what he looks like. Looks like he's going to be in his mid-30s, around 35, which is a pretty young coach, so that should be good for the players, I guess, in a way. Playbook-wise, I'm going to make some changes. I don't want to run a 3-4 defense anymore. I want to run a 4-3. I'd much rather have 4 D linemen and then 3 linebackers playing, so we're just going to go ahead and go with the Seahawks playbook on defense. And on the offensive end, of course, we know the best play caller in the NFL was uh, Kyle Shanahan last year. What he did in Atlanta was incredible. So I want to run his playbook, and he's with the 49ers now. Um, so I think that'd be good for us because we have, we have a pretty similar offense, except we're just missing our running backs. Of course, we do have Frank Gore, but he's going to be gone because he's old, so we're going to probably try to trade him away with that said. But with that said right here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what our roster is right now. Uh, we have a lot of holes on the defensive end. Um, I'm going to trade Deion Butler for a fact because I want Malik Hooker, who was a first-round pick this year, to start. We just got a lot, lot of moves to make and a lot of free agents and draft players that we're going to draft next season. Um, special teams-wise, we have a lot of old players. And the same thing on the offensive end. So here we go with our first trade. We're going to trade Vontae Davis and Deion Butler for a first-round pick and a seventh-round pick. Then we trade Akeem Ayers for a fourth-round pick. Frank Gore, uh, Kamar Aiken... Dante Moncrief for a first round pick and the seventh round pick now this first round pick is from the Jets So that is going to be a very high value pick. So now we have three first round picks uh, Three seventh round picks and two fourth round picks. I believe I uh, will try to add some more maybe later on But for now, this is our roster in year one, which uh, doesn't really matter We signed Wayne Gallman the rookie out of Clemson I just want him to be the starter for this year it doesn't matter because we're gonna try to draft a running back in next year's uh, draft or we'll see we'll see how it all goes because I don't know who's a free agent yet We might have some good free agent running backs So we might have to go with that and the same thing is with our pass rush But anyway, I simulate year one because there's no point in playing it I mean, we're just trying to rebuild and hurry up and start this so in year one We go three and 13 which is perfect for us because we actually want to get those high draft picks the Seahawks right there As you guys see finish in the third spot of the NFC Andrew Luck season was pretty good 20 touchdowns nine interceptions not his best, obviously, but I mean, he didn't really have a lot to work with. Wayne Gallman didn't have the best rookie year, even though he had over 881 yards. He only averaged 2.8 yards per carry, which isn't that good. Had six touchdowns on 319 carries. And then Robert Turbin, of course, had 51 as well. Our receiving, and I'm really surprised T.Y. Hilton had the third most amount of receptions. Our Darius Stewart, who was like a fifth round pick this year, had 69 receptions for 724 yards. And Philip Dorsett had 65 for 792. So I was actually really surprised that T.Y. Hilton had a really down season. Hopefully that's not the case next year because I really don't want to have to trade him, but I feel like I might end up doing so. On the defensive end, I'm really surprised that John Simon had 150 tackles. On the He had a really good season for us as an outside linebacker. Our pass rush was obviously weak, but we're going to improve that in the offseason. Um, five and a half sacks for Jonathan Hankins. Interceptions-wise, Sean Spence had two. Malik Hooker as a rookie had two, so our just turnovers were bad. Uh, Quincy Wilson also had one. He was another high draft pick by the Colts. I believe a second round pick, but nonetheless, he, he had a pretty decent rookie year, having 82 tackles on the season. But that'll pretty much do it for the stats. Looking at guys that we're going to re-sign, I'm going to go ahead and re-sign Jack Newhart, a left guard. This is really the only guy I'm going to keep. I'm going to let Barquise Mingo walk. I just want a Newhart back because I know that he's a really good offensive lineman, and we got to keep that O-line strong, especially when he's only 26 and has four years of experience. He can still develop. Everyone else I'm going to let go for now. I might try to bring back Adam Vinatieri. If there are no other good kickers in free agency. Because I know he's old. He's like 45. So I don't know how much longer he'd last. But our first free agent signing that we're going to go ahead and go for. Is John Greco. A right guard. 82 overall. 33 years old. We're going to try to sign him to a 2 year $10 million deal. Um, we just need to improve that offensive line. And we are going to bring back Adam Vinatieri. Because there are no other good kickers. Only on a 1 year deal though. Punters. We already have one. Um, but I'm not going to sign a running back in this free agency. Jeremy Hill is good. But there's a guy that I want to draft. He's a real player, um, and so I think that it'd be better for us to just draft a young guy in like the second round or something. We'll go ahead and see. Depending on if he is still on the board, hopefully no one else takes him. That'd be amazing if he was, because I knew he's a really good running back, and he's personally my favorite running back in college football right now. 
I was going to look at some wide receivers to shine, but I couldn't find any. But I will sign Shaquille Barrett. He's an outside linebacker. We don't need him to play outside linebacker, though, because we want to move him to defensive end. He is more of a pass rushing guy, and his overall will just drop about one overall like point, but it doesn't matter. We just need to improve our pass rush. He's young. He's 25. He can develop into that role. Um, also, I decided to sign some corners because we only had one, and that was Quincy Wilson. So I went ahead and offered just some young guys like Darquez Denard one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep him. I might try to trade him because I know that he could be good trade bait as a 75 overall and still being pretty young. I was thinking about signing Justin Coleman. I know the Seahawks traded for him, but um, the Rams must have offered him a big contract because he had 112 points with them. Or like bid points which it shows in the top bid so i wasn't even gonna bother just trying to get him i felt like it would be pointless right there next up we're gonna try to sign judy i don't really know how to pronounce his last name but nonetheless he's a young corner and he should be good enough to be our backup and then tj green is one last guy that i'm gonna go ahead and sign 23 years old out of clemson again another guy that i figured could just be a backup maybe even start someday but with that said that's pretty much gonna do it for this off season of course we still have the draft and that's gonna come in next episode before we get ready to kick off week one of the next season. I'm not going to play the preseason. I just want this franchise to be a little more fast-paced for you guys. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. God bless you, one of you guys. It's Arnef here, and I'm out. Peace.